NASA is looking to some researchers at Utah State University to problem solve farming on Mars. It's actually a lot harder than Matt Damon makes it look. New specialist Mike Anderson joins us live to explain why. Yeah, you know, Mike and Dini, you can't do it in a simple greenhouse because, you know, you've got intense radiation due to a lack of atmosphere and toxic soil. And on top of that, you can't afford to waste even a drop of water. So this is our hydroponic lettuce systems here. Taking what you can do in a garden and pushing it further and a lot farther than you can imagine. They can't waste anything. Every speck, every drop of water has to be recycled. It's a lot harder than you might think. Professor Bruce Bugby and Ph.D. candidate Noah Langenfeld helping figure out how to sustain life where everything is scarce. Here on Earth, we end up wasting a lot of nitrogen. About half of the nitrogen for agriculture ends up um, getting lost, either as a gas or it leaches out and ends up becoming an environmental pollutant. In this greenhouse, they are meticulous about every drop, growing lettuce while wasting very little. Gone up to two years over over 700 days with plants in the same exact nutrient solution. We just fill them up every couple days, um, top off what's used by the plant. But really on Mars, the growing will likely take place underground, away from the danger of radiation and meteorites. It's why Bugby and his team have areas like this, seeing how they can grow corn under artificial light from LEDs. And the central question is, how small and how efficient can we make this and still have it be stable? If it's too small, it'll become unstable. Something goes out of whack, everyone dies. In another lab, they can control everything down to the gas composition inside. All these efforts helping answer the future question of survivability on Mars. Not only do we kind of get to help humanity kind of reach for those new frontiers, um, but all this research is really still applicable to the agriculture that we do on Earth. And researchers here are working with four other universities to help NASA learn how to survive on Mars. And the space agency just uh, recognized all of them for their efforts with their Group Achievement Award. Dini, back to you. Mike, you're right. This is a lot more complicated than the movies give it credit for. Thanks.